Okay, and we're back. And I have no idea what happened. All I know is I looked up and noticed that the camera was turned off. So I don't know exactly what got missed. So just to carry on, we placed these rods through these pillow blocks, got those all screwed in. We assembled the front portion of it, put everything together, and then we slipped the back plate on. And then we put the retaining, uh, it's the number 30, I believe it was, the little uh, screws that go into here that holds these rods in place. Got that done, slipped, you know, they slipped this piece in, got those all put in. Now we're to the point where we're going to take and put the, tighten up these rods here. And as you can see, they're a whole lot longer than what we need. So what I'm going to do, since I don't want it hanging out the front of the, the unit, I'm going to end up loosen up here. I would rather them be sticking out the, the back side of it than out the front. So what I'm going to do, get this where it can be seen a little bit better. I'm going to take and run a nut up from the front. I'm just going to have just a little bit sticking out right here. And then I'm going to tighten this up. Same way with this side. I'm going to loosen this up. And you know the back part because the back part is going to have the up the two uh, pieces here because that's for your, your motor mount. That should do it. Okay, so we're going to put that back on there. Go ahead and turn this other camera on. I turned it off because I'm trying to figure everything out. I don't know if that camera's going to catch any good angles or not. Unfortunately, I don't think I had enough of an angle to watch anything I was doing earlier, which really, really sucks. <laughs> That's the problem with trying to learn all this stuff. It's a whole new thing for me, so I got to get everything figured out eventually how it, everything works. Later on, I'll probably just take on this rod here and cut off the extra, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. Okay, so there we have our base unit. I'm trying to see why. There. You see, it slides out pretty good. I know there's going to be an end stop there, so that, that'll be good. Okay, so anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little adjust blend wrench. I believe this one's going to be big enough. Yes. So I'll tighten it up from the inside part. And then I'll tighten it from the outside. And I'm just hoping I don't have to go find another one. And right now it seems like it's tightening up just fine. Once again, tighten up from the inside. And that'll compress that. They call it a split washer, but it's a lock washer is all it is. Got that tightened. We're going to do the same thing to the back side here. Oh, I see what's... Those things are turning. Okay. So, so far, other than that one little problem with the... with the screws on this portion, which I believe is caught on camera. Other than that, it's went pretty smooth. And in case you, in case I did miss it, what had happened was I was using the screws that recommended. The screws were actually a little bit too long, it appeared. So I ended up switching out with the number 19 screws, used two of those, took the number 20 screws, just set them on the 19 bag. I'll use them later on in the build on something else. I don't think it's, everything's going to be that particular, to be honest with you. As you can see, it smooth, runs pretty smooth. I'm going to oil everything up later on. But anyway, for the moment, that's set. So now let's continue on to... We need to set up our front idler. And the way that's going to work... Set this back like that. 
I'm going to take these two pieces here. We have one piece. It's got that groove to it right here. And we have this piece here. Yes, toss it. Okay. Now, according to the video, from what I see, that piece goes in front. It faces inward like that. So what we're going to need is number 29 screws. That's going to be over my other pile here. Going to need one of those. We're going to need two of these little bearings. Little tiny baby bearings. We're going to need one of these clips here. I keep looking up now that that camera did that to me. I keep looking up to make sure there's a picture on it. <laughs> and I really do apologize for that. I did not expect that to happen. I thought I had everything set to where it continuously record. I checked all the settings and nothing says it's supposed to time out. Okay, so we got that, 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 that. Now we need number 13, which is lock nuts. We're gonna need one of those. And we've got those two plates there. Let's call for number 23. I believe those are still over here. 22, nope. I moved it over to this side. You ever have a day where you think everything's gonna work out right and then it all falls apart? Yeah, that's kind of what this is, <laughs> what's happening here. <laughs> Had everything all laid out last night. And then I watched the videos and it's like, okay, I'm going to change this up a little bit. And I didn't bother to change everything out before I got started today. So now I'm paying for it. Okay, so now number 29. What's number 29? Number 29 is another bolt. And it says I need one of those. This is a need one of these. It's going to be a wing nut. Number 14. Number seven. I've got a bunch of number sevens right here, so I'm just going to lay those over here to the side. I'll just use whatever I need. Number 11. It's going to be these little M3 nuts, need two of those. And then number eight is going to be the larger washers. I do need two of those, the M4 washers. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to take this block right here. Nope, take it back. We're going to start with this one here. We're going to take these blocks here, A and B, put them together. We're going to use two of the M3 by 25. So that is going to be these. So I imagine we're going to be using a washer. See, do we want that? I want it to look clean, so not in that way. It should be just fine. Is that threaded? Oh yeah, it is threaded. Wow. I thought I had to use a nut with it. Nope, that's not going to be the right one. Go back to my... Oh, I did not just do that. Let's 
that's going to be the 2.5 millimeter. Just lost half my bits. That's all right. I think I got most of the bits I need right here on the desk anyway. I'm just going to firm that up a little bit. We're not going to get it too awful tight until I get this next one in. Actually firms up pretty good. I'm surprised I need a nut. But it says to use Yeah, it says to put the M3 nuts on there. That makes no sense. But I guess maybe they just want to be absolutely sure. three nuts are going to fit it. <laughs> yep. And we're just going to head and tighten this a little bit. There we go. Do the same thing on the bottom part. It stays like this. I wish I had smaller fingers. <laughs> okay, and we're going to tighten that one up a little. Yeah, baby things. Okay, so that's taken care of. Next, feed, feed the M3 by 25 screw through the bearing holder. And yeah, this is use a washer. I think I got plenty of extra washers there anyway. If I had a longer bit, I've got a screwdriver, I'd totally run this thing through it. Going to cheat a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to firm that up, tighten it. Okay, got that together. Now it says to insert the two ball bearings, both ends into the drive wheel. So we have the drive wheel here. It doesn't look like it matters which way they go in, but they don't just necessarily go right in either. Let's check out the other side here, see if it's any smoother. Nope. Okay. And would you look what I found? I found Mr. Pliers. I was able to get that smashed in there by just using the large set of pliers. And that allowed me to get it in there close enough and now she fits between there just fine so now what we're going to do is we're going to take go to the next page here yes got that put in okay so step four put the m425 screw which was the one that i was just playing with run that through you know what? I'm sure I'm supposed to use a washer. And then put another washer. And then we'll throw on a... Oh, that's right. That's the one I borrowed. Put that one back. That was the 11A I was trying to use to squeeze that in with. So now we're going to use the lock washer we're supposed to use. my bit back inside there like I'm supposed to. Let's get that sucker tightened up. I'm going to loosen that just a hair. That is a lock, water, a lock nut, so... I 
That does not seem... Let's loosen it up a little bit more and see if it... No, actually that is pretty tight. It should not be that tight, I don't think. Okay, so... Now I understand why they say that you need common sense in order to do this too. <laughs> it's not an exact science, is it? Yeah, that wheel actually is pretty tight in there. So, yeah, what can I do to spring that out? Is that plastic or is that metal? It's aluminum. I just want to spring it just a hair. There. Let's use the end of the screwdriver in there. Let's spring it out a little bit, which is just fine. That's going to allow that to float in there easier. And then when I go to tighten it up, I just make sure I don't tighten it up real tight. And that will allow the bearings to actually do the work instead of the, the sides of that just pinching in on everything. Okay, and as you can see, it's starting to close, starting to close, and it's just starting to get close to being pinched. That allows that to roll freely, which is good enough for me. Okay, so now, it's not that we can go very much further with trying to figure this one out. It's gonna fit in like that. And now that thing's wanting to complain. How come? It is a little too thick to fit inside the plate. Nice! You didn't see that one coming a mile away, right? Okay, so uh, that might give me enough whatever to, cause I'm sure it's got to be just inside that part in order to keep it from twisting with the belt or anything, but that should be going further than that. Yeah, it's riding right on the edge. Right, you can see where it's scraping the paint. Ugh. Okay. So, my question is, do I file the inside of that? Or do I file the outside of that? If I turn it the other way, is it any better? No, it's not. If I play with it, I'll do it off camera. But I may have to play with it at the moment. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't know for sure if I'll have to play with it or not. It is pinching pretty bad though. But for now, for all intents and purposes, we're just going to leave it in here. Okay, so on to the next step, which I know for a fact is going to be the stepper motor. So it's going to fit back here on this portion back here. So we're going to set this to the side for a moment. We're going to grab our stepper motor. And 
and they come with the wires already on them. I may go ahead and remove it. I don't want to mess around with the wires at the moment. So I'll put the wiring harness back here. Okay, so now what I need is my motor bracket. I'll have to go through and find this, the page and find out what size screws I need. Once again, you can do it in whatever order you want. I just want to do it in a little bit different order that seemed to make more sense, but at least I didn't have to fight those rods and all that. Yes, yes, that looks okay. There we go. Okay, so we have our motor mount. We have our motor. We have a pulley, number 36 which is 35. I do not see it over in that pile. And there it is underneath. No, number 36 are the bearings. So they got the number wrong. Pulleys. I know I saw the pulleys here. Let me look one more time. Where did I see the pulleys? There they are. Number 41. There we go. So, so you know, the instructions say number 36. This number 41 is going to be the, the part that we need. Oops. Okay. Let's set that to the side. So we got that, that. And then we need number 19, which looks like I set back over here. Hmm, do I want to use these other screws for this? That was the ones I tried using earlier. Eh, let's go ahead and pull out some of the other ones. I need three of those. If I can use these, the other two, I will for this. I'm just gonna set those over there for the moment. Put 19 back over there. Number 20, it says I need two of those. And then number seven, which I have a bunch of them on the desk still. Because it told me to take out a bunch of them and I didn't need them after all. It's like it told me to take this one out earlier and I didn't need it either. <laughs> okay. And then, is there anything else? Yeah, the part we already did. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so motor mount. What we're gonna do, we know the motor mount fits in like so. This is offset. Is it on camera? Yeah, it is. This is offset to the left when I'm facing it from the front. Motor mount we know is going to fit in like so. So which means our motor is going to mount facing that direction so the pulley will be toward the center. So we're going to take our motor mount. So once again we know it's going to be that way. We want our wiring harness to come toward the inside. So we're going to take them out just like this. And it says then you take the mount, put it on top of there, insert the motor block into the slot, what, let's see, mount the pulley on the shaft, one of the screws should be, da, 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 da. fix block plate, uh, I want to just put the motor mount on, I know it's called for three of those, can I get by with this one in here, let's go ahead and grab some of these washers, I'm going to try using those screws from earlier that didn't fit the other part, which honestly look like that's the ones that belong there because if I use the screws that they're calling for, look at how much thread there is. Yeah, no, something's not right there. So we're going to end up having to go with the twenties. That's what, yeah. That's 20s. 
20s look a lot. Once again, we're going to have to switch things out here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use another one of the 20s. Because I feel a lot better having a little bit more thread inside there than to uh, leave it like that. Okay, so once again, motor mounts that way. We want that there. So let's take one of these. I tried it earlier and see if the threads are still going to be fine for it. And see whether I'm going to be messing up by going with that one or not. Excuse me. That mounts up nicely. So I personally am going to use. Uh, are you kidding me? That's right. I just lost a washer, but I got plenty of washers over here for the moment. I can't see where we're going to be using all those washers. Yeah, I feel better having more thread in the motor. I don't want the motor walking around any. So I personally am going to use the 20s. It's up to you if you want to attempt it with the, the 19s, which are a little bit shorter. But I'm personally going with that. Okay, so now we're going to take the motor. Yeah, let's put the pulley on it first. According to the video, one of these go across. I said going across, but I don't see how any of them are going to go across. It looks like they're just going to pinch. So I'm going to say one of them just goes right on like so. I'm going to take it just almost to the end there. I'm sure I'll probably have to readjust it later. Okay, and that was the 2.5. I don't know what that one was. And of course I spilt my bit, so I don't know exactly what I'm grabbing now. see what this one is see if it'll fit it's driving it in yeah that worked I'm going to put it up there and just see if it looks like it's going to be centered We got 18 millimeter or 18 centimeters across the middle of the belt. It seems to be at nine and a half. So I am going to have to take. Yeah, I'll have to put it back in there a little bit further. So I'll go ahead and adjust that now because I'm sure it's going to be pretty close to the center. Take it back here. And no, I don't have it mounted to the back yet. I do know that. I'm going to take care of that right now. I just wanted to get it where it was somewhat. Yeah, that's going to be about right. Pretty close. I may have to adjust it back out a little bit because now we're sitting at. Well, we're sitting right at nine. Slight, slightly less, so I will readjust it while I've got everything loosened up here. I'm just going to take it out that far. Close enough for me. Let's look up, make sure the camera's still on. <laughs> okay, so now we're to the point where we're going to be using, we're supposed to be using these 20s. Let's see if I can get by with 19s. No. 